to sleep and not have them running up to my room at like 5.30 in the morning. It's so nice. I'll be excited, of course, to see them when I go back tonight, but it is nice for a break as well. Um, and just beyond that, I am thrilled and happy to be with you today. Um, I don't think I have ever met someone whose life was perfect. And I don't think I've ever met anyone who hasn't struggled at some point in their life. And I'm, I'm not grateful for other people's tragedies or hardships or trauma. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not grateful for that. But I'm grateful that everyone is human and that no one is perfect. And I'm grateful that we, we all have our experiences. And I'm, I'm grateful for that because I'm not perfect. Um, and I struggle and I make mistakes all the time. So bear with me through today, if you will. Um, but I remember when I was 14, I genuinely thought that good things happen to good people, bad things happen to bad people, and that was it. I mean, I really didn't think that anything bad could ever happen to me. I grew up in a beautiful home. I came from a very nice neighborhood. Um, my family, I thought, was perfect. Um, I remember going to junior high just counting down the days until I was done because I guess I can only speak for myself, but junior high to me was just awkward and I was ready for it to be done. And somehow I thought if once I made it into high school, that would not be the case anymore. I mean, I was very misguided in that, but I still thought that once I made it there, that everything would be just perfect. Um, and I remember, I remember looking forward to the summer. I remember being excited about, I don't know, sleeping in and not having homework and being able to just do what I wanted. Well, what my mom wanted, really. <laughs> but I, I really did not have any concept of what could ever happen to me. I mean, I never had a thought cross my mind of what, what happened in the world, what happened to thousands of people every single day. I mean, I just really, I really didn't have any kind of concept of that at all. And I remember the night before I was kidnapped, it was, I mean, that day actually was just the same as 